How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. This is a Monday after the bash. Uh, the summer bash with uh, that's Bar Z with Stan Zinkowski hosting. Oh, turn that off. Uh, boy, if you, you know, if you are able to come and, and everything, if you didn't couldn't make it, it was a great time. Uh, I was I was um, I don't know. Uh, so happy to be able to attend myself, and um, so happy to meet uh, the the guys I watch on YouTube. <laughs> uh, and it, I'm just like the rest of you out there watching videos, and I watch all all everybody. I watch everybody. I try to. I I, um, I enjoy it uh, quite a bit. I don't watch TV, and I watch YouTube. Uh, hard for me to keep up sometimes. I have quite a few us. Uh, subscriber I, who I subscribe to I should say and uh, but it was v I've met a lot of the people already but uh, I got to admit some meet some new people and uh, new view and viewers uh, it, it was just uh, quite the event uh, uh, I want to start off to saying thanks to Stan uh, for doing all this and uh, it took tremendous amount of work uh, I uh, helped put on events and I put on uh, my wife and I. We we put on several events ourselves. It's it's a tremendous amount of work, and uh, Stan uh, got it done. <laughs> he got it done, and uh, I was just I was just happy to be able to go and to help out Stan uh, however I could. Uh, I was real busy, and I was helping. Uh, I was working with Dale Deary there at the bash, and we were. Uh, uh, doing the announcing stuff, uh, MC and stuff, and Stan uh, did some, and and uh, just kind of keeping help keep that organized. So we were giving away gifts and and uh, you know things that were donated uh, to Stan uh, for the event, and uh, we were having to, we were giving away stuff every 15 minutes, and it got down to the end of the day, and it, we, we gave away stuff for a solid hour uh, just. Just giving it away. <laughs> I mean, every minute. I mean, pulling a card. It was it was, it was so much stuff to give away. Um, uh, it just thanks to all the contributors who came, and especially the guys who came from so far away. Um, I talked to one Jenna and one viewer. I talked to a viewer from Michigan. Uh, Michigan. Oh boy, I think it was. And uh, I, I, you know, coming from so far away, I uh, I was just uh, amazed. Um, uh, Brad Jacobs coming from the Midwest, and and uh, Adam from Florida, and J uh, James Kilroy um, from uh, Mississippi. There, uh, Mississippi, yeah, I want to say Mississippi. <laughs> uh, and uh, an another gentleman, Jim, uh, uh, who I was also doing videos. Um, oh boy, he's not on my list right here. Uh, but uh, Jim, I'll I'll figure it out. Uh, anyway, Jim from Florida, he came from Florida, so. Um, I don't know who's the farthest away. Uh, Don Cossett came down from or came from Oregon. Uh, so I uh, thank you. Um, I, um, thank you so I could meet you, come and meet you, and uh, I was just happy to come and be able to come. So uh, it was a tremendous event, and uh, all the contributors were helping out and uh, helping Stan out and and everything. So uh, it was a very very fun time. Uh, I hope we're going to do this again. Uh, whether it's at stands or at somebody else's uh, venue, so maybe uh, maybe on the East Coast there sometime, um, it'd be uh, great to go to. Uh, there's a were a lot of vendors who uh, donated things and so so um, it was just a tremendous. I did not shoot hardly any video. I I just uh, didn't have time or but everybody else is shooting video and they're going to put up some good videos. Uh, of all the events going on, and Stan did the live feed thing. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of people also I, I'd like to thank, um, other than Stan. Stan, I thank Stan there. Uh, Dale Deary. Dale Deary came out uh, from uh, uh, Georgia also. Uh, Dale was a, he was the very first one on YouTube I watched in uh, the machining genre area, and uh, he is a he's a great guy. Uh, 
uh, uh, we had uh, quite a few conversations, and I was able to work with him a little bit on with the uh, you know the MC thing, you know, giving out the gifts and and uh, helping keep that a little organized, and uh, so that was uh, great fun. Uh, Dale, thank you. Uh, uh, it was a pleasure to meet you and, and, and talk with you and stuff. It was, uh, I wish we uh, had more chance to talk even. Uh, it was, uh, I really enjoyed that. Uh, so, so, uh, so there's a, you know, a few other people there. Uh, you know, James Green, Tom Litton, a Adam Booth, Keith Rucker, John Saunders, Don Cossett, Ron Roja. I think I got that right one. Ben Zittner, James Green. I mean, James Kilroy, uh, Brad Jacobs, you know, basement shop guy, Herb Blair, Chuck Bomarito, outside screwball, you know, Chuck uh, Van Natta, No Top Farms, Ray Cornelia, Ray's Garage, and Ray, there you go, there's the shirt. Thanks, Ray, for the shirt. Uh, there were other, also, YouTube contributors there, and uh, I'm going to make sure I, uh, the ones I remember I met, and I'm going to get their links. I have to do a little more research, but I'll get their links on this video also. And I'll put down everybody else's uh, YouTube link. But thank you, guys. Uh, I, I, like I said, I, I enjoyed it tremendously. Uh, being able to meet, to me, uh, going to the bash was more about being able to meet everybody and, and talk to uh, viewers. Uh, for me, that's what it was. Um, it's not, it wasn't about the raffles and and the prizes and all that stuff uh to me it was about meeting the people and uh having some fun conversations and just talking about machining and and uh youtube and <laughs> all that kind of stuff uh, uh it was uh, for me it was very very satisfying and, and i really really enjoyed that uh some of my viewers i've met before at uh, tom's um events and uh, some of those guys came down, uh, Bob from Sacramento and Jim uh, from over there, by, lived by Chuck over, over the Bay Area. Uh, those guys came down and, and uh, there's another uh, contributor, um, oh boy, I didn't write his name down. He has a, he has a channel, he lives in Fairfield uh, in California and, and uh, that's my hometown. So uh, I got to talk to him and he won uh he won the uh, knurling tool, uh, so uh, very very nice, and he was pretty happy I think about that. So uh, thanks to all those guys, and uh, I just want to I want to say thank you to uh, all these guys. To uh, I mean I'm just I'm just a guy in the shop at home here, like the rest of everybody else uh, who watches kind of thing, and and uh, to be able to be part of the group and and uh, enjoy everybody's company is. It was a great pleasure for me. Anyway, while I was away, I want to just start off with, I, I got a couple pieces of mail while I was away, and uh, I'm going to show you show you that, and I'm going to show you the some of the tools I, I bought from a couple of the guys that brought stuff. Um, I didn't really bring anything to trade. I really did not have much to trade. Um, I... Sold a few of my dovetail cutters to a few guys, uh, so thank you. Uh, I won't mention you guys' names, but uh, but thanks again uh, for buying a couple of dovetail cutters there. That uh, really helps out, and uh, appreciate it. I also have a few email requests for them, so I do have a couple left. So I'll be probably uh, mailing those out and things like that. So thanks, thanks again. Uh, so I'm going to show you that stuff and everything. Uh, so uh, Don uh, Cossett and his grandson uh, came on down from Oregon uh, the, on Thursday and spent the night here at my house. And then Friday morning we left bright and early and went down to pick up uh, Ben uh, Zittner and Juan Roja at their work at American Pump down there in Fresno and we got a little tour and uh, of the uh, nice old big machines that they get to use there if I uh, check Ben and Juan's channels out uh, Juan's just getting going so uh, 
I hope you visit his channel and subscribe. Uh, he had his video of the uh, face-off between Adam and Tom. Uh, it's kind of the party was kind of winding down, and it was, so but uh, Adam and Tom, most a lot of people, most people had left, kind of thing. But there was still quite a few around, and and uh, Adam and Tom did a little uh, Chuck comp face-off Chuck competition themselves, and watch watch Juan's video. He did a really good job of taking video for that, uh, so you could see the. A little face off between Tom and Adam. I won't tell you who won. I think everybody probably knows. And uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, but anyway, thanks to Don for coming down. And uh, so, Don and I uh, and uh, his grandson, we picked up uh, Ben and uh, Juan uh, after the little tour at the American Pump and drove on down. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, Driving down and back, a conversation the whole time, and uh, it was a it was a really good trip, and uh, and I really enjoyed that. It was uh, very fun. So uh, let me uh, show you this stuff, uh, and we'll talk about some more of it. No one's really here yet, just a few of us, uh, YouTube helping Stan get organized. This is the shop, uh, oops, this is the step, tables are setting up for some tool trading going on, a few of the guys, and uh, just kind of getting things going here. Randy hey, what's up Randy? <laughs> ben and Juan, who's filming who here? <laughs> <laughs> Here's some swag stuff. Oh, just, just, just stuff. a little bit of swag. Pretty good haul, you think, for first year? Lots of stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of good stuff. Tools. So first in the mail. Uh, well, let's well let's start off first uh, differently there. So uh, Don came on down. And he brought me one of the, the chamfer tools he made. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> With one of the big inserts that uh, I sent him. I gave him another box of them. That was good. The inserts came from Tony down in Australia, actually. So uh, for a nice chamfer tool, a little bit of negative rake on there. Nicely done, Don. Uh, so I can... Clamp it in my big, um, use it on my big lathe there. So um, I'm anxious to uh, try that out and see how that works. Uh, thanks again, Don. So, some mail that came while I was away. Let's see here. Yeah. This is from uh, Peter Stanton, and Peter has a channel. Edge Precision down in Texas, and he said he had he had a large mic set that uh, he doesn't use anymore, and, and uh, the box needs a lid, but he did a great job on making the lid, cardboard lid, and uh, if I wanted it, I, he'd send it to me. So this is a six to twelve Minotoil set. Um, it's in it's in great shape, just uh, fantastic shape, and uh, with all the standards and uh, all the anvils, every, you know, ranch, everything is here. Yeah, it's a mo model one zero four one three eight carbide tipped uh, on all the ends and everything. So, uh, uh, thank you, Peter. Uh, um, this will, uh, this is uh, great. <laughs> uh, uh, your generous generosity is uh, uh, just amazing. Uh, Peter does a lot of very precision, very special stuff uh, down there in Texas, uh, CNC work, and uh, he has a great 
the really nice big CNC great machines he has uh, at work and he has some uh, great equipment in his house even uh, so he does uh, some beautiful stuff if you haven't seen his uh, milling stuff it's a uh, that thing's uh, beautiful that he makes and uh, he even shows you how he makes it and and everything and uh, uh, and he has a great channel going there and uh, showing showing some really cool uh, uh, machining and CNC machining and stuff. But uh, you know, they're all just perfect, perfect shape. So thank you again, Peter. And uh, I'll have to find some hinges and uh, make a lid for that and fix up the foam a little bit. But hey, this is perfect for me. Just perfect. So thanks again. I really appreciate that. Here's the other piece of mail I got. I received the uh, DeWalt uh, 611 mo uh, uh, router mount for the X-Carve. It's all uh, one piece. Pretty nice. It was it was way easier just to buy one and, and cheaper. I mean, it only was $35, I think. So I just bought one. And... Uh, Here, we'll put the, slip the router right in there, I think. Huh? I might have to expand that a little bit. But it'll go. It'll go in there, though. I'll have to probably expand it just a tiny bit. So, uh, yeah, and that was thank you to Lockcracker and Phil there, who has a YouTube channel also, and I'll put his uh, link up also. Uh, everybody I mentioned that has a YouTube channel, I will make sure I get the link on the video or in the description. So that that came in the mail, so we'll be getting that rigged on the X-Carve. That'll be fun. Okay, so I'm, uh, at the bash, uh, a few, uh, one guy, he's, he doesn't do YouTube videos, but he's, he's a viewer, and he was there to tool trades and sell tools. Uh, uh, Andrew Padaka. So Andrew had to see if I can get this out now. Andrew had a, this is a, a tap chuck with a half inch square drive on the end. And they still make these, I understand, from what Stan told me. Uh, this one goes uh, number 10 to half inch. Tap cap, Hartford, Connecticut. Made in the U.S. Uh, Jacob's Chuck 441-J9. So um, let's see if I can. Oh, oh shoot, it's tight. This part here, pit. Here we go. So there's a. You know, this is a, one of those flexible collets. You can get different size ones. Goes in there, and then down inside here, this part here clamps down on the square end. Oops, this part here, and down inside, I don't know if you can see, but it clamps down with an Allen wrench, and it slides a little bit on your tap when you put your tap in. So uh, this is just a this is a five sixteenths tap twenty four from we all know who James Kilroy. <laughs> So that, that goes down in there and clamps on to the, uh, the square end of your tap for driving it. And then the, the collet part just really is, uh, helps, just keeps it centered. So I, I was, uh, I really, been, I actually have been kind of looking for one of those and, uh, that Andrew had one, so I picked it up from him. Got these from Andrew Padaka also. These are some uh, transfer screws. Now uh, these were kind of extras that he had, so uh, it's kind of a mixed up little bit of set here. Uh, but hey, they work. This one's a half inch 13, 3 8 16, 5 16, 18 quarter 20, 10 24, some 8 32. And then I got some extra 3 8 16, 5 16, 18 quarter 20s, and 832s. 
but they're they're in good shape and uh i these I, I clean them up a little bit a little wire wheel action i'll just open up these are these are the half inch ones these are a little easier to see but yeah there's six uh six in there it's kind of nice threaded they got a little hex and then the point on the top i don't know if you can see that and uh the little the wrench is on the end here fits right on there except that one like that fits on there and you can screw then screw it into the hole so then they all fit nicely they all kind of that little pocket there so they all fit together inside the handle inside the wrench right kind of nice um been looking for some of these for a while so yeah I'll help andrew out there and buy something from him so uh got a good little set there going i'd like to get some quarter 28 ones they're quarter 28 used in uh aircraft a lot um 832s uh 1032s i like to get a 1032 one and uh 516s 24s yeah any any nf ones would be would be great so uh, but hey, this is a good little start and uh, see if I can find some more I picked up a tool from uh, Here's a death down night night wooden box from uh, James Green and uh, it's, it's in pretty good shape and it's a federal dial indicator on there a little depth gauge one inch uh, capacity on that and it comes with a couple had a couple extra tips in there this one's kind of been hand ground for some reason kind of kind of nasty but it's okay they all fit this little tip comes out so uh it's kind of cool nice little quick depth gauge uh for measuring something pretty fast just set it on there and uh away you go get a quick measurement uh, Kind of nice. Uh, it's in good shape. So I picked that up from James. Thank you, James. I'll come in handy. Picked up some inserts from uh, Ben Zittner. Uh, some uh, WNMG, CNMGs, CNMGs, and some uh, smaller uh, CCMTs, 21.5s. Uh, I have a half inch tool holder set I use on the uh, uh, on the Logan all the time and uh, these that's where those will come in those will come in handy I use that insert a lot on the Logan it works really nice uh, but the rest here are uh, CNMGs uh, that package isn't even opened yet but that's okay these are 432s now these are M4s, so those are probably, uh, uh, and then TK, uh, they're Duratomics, so they might be for uh, like cast iron or something. But, you know, uh, for me, no, I'll make them work for other things, too. So, uh, so uh, same with these one or that's TP. These are M5s, 432s. So, but I need to have something. And they're the right price. Uh, these are some uh, CNMGs. Also, these are 432s. Also, so I'll be using these on the uh, lance lathes and such. Just a couple of those in there. So I picked up some inserts. Uh, thank you, Ben, for having us. This is I picked this up from a, fellow, a viewer actually who brought stuff and. Uh, he had a lot of big stuff, but for me, uh, this is a L00 mount right there. Needs a little cleaning up, but it's a dog drive, and uh, which I'll uh, do a little cleanup on and stuff. I was, uh, this can come in uh, kind of handy for me. I, instead of having to use my big faceplate or the chuck like I do, I use the chuck a, a lot of time, but. Uh, or I have my big faceplate for on the lance laid there, but this will uh, work nice if I just want a little dog drive plate. It was the right price, five bucks. 
but I can fix it up real nice. And then he also, Scott also had a, this little uh, AXA Dorian uh, tool holder. They're in good shape. And it uh, fits perfect uh, on my lathe, on my uh, Logan. A little AXA tool post, tool holder. Always use another tool holder. Thanks, Scott. Those will be uh, perfect. And Tom uh, Lipton had brought a bunch of inserts, and he was just kind of giving them away. But he had some in there. I actually should have grabbed uh, some of the round ones he had. I got an idea for those. Anyway, uh, there are a lot of weird special ones he had. But these are are squares, uh, so they're at S something. Uh, they're just plain carbide. I don't know the grade or anything. They're the markings on here, they're carboloy. But I don't know really anything else. They have a little bit of a corner thing going there, uh, how it's been uh, trimmed a little bit. But anyway, these, I go, those are probably, those will work in this. This is that fly cutter I got from Ryan Wasilla. Now, he has a channel, and I'll be sure to have his link up. But anyway, Ryan sent me this, and because this takes a square insert. And that, I tell you, fits in there just perfect like perfect size and when you let me, when it, for I'm thinking see now what I'm thinking of what I'm planning on using this for I'm gonna to have to make an arbor still but my plan is a big fly cutter maybe I can run two inserts uh, depending on horsepower requirement they're taking light cuts but this looks like this will be perfect as a fly cutter and uh, if I ran light cuts, I could probably have more than one in there. It takes a dozen in there if you put them all in there, but I wouldn't have the horsepower to run that. So, But if you just put in one, one insert will not throw that off, off balance uh, enough. Uh, so, uh, but I'm going to probably try it with one, and I'll try it with two. But first, we'll have to make an arbor. And I think that's too cool. I found some inserts for it. So, uh, thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom, for the inserts. Tom also had some uh, end mills. These are one inches, they're big. And they got, like, this one has a big corner radius, and this has a little smaller radius on there. So, those will be fun, uh, especially if I want to put a radius in, a, in something uh, in a corner. A little, little rust on this one, but pretty good shape. They, uh, they're pretty sharp. They're, they're used, it looks like, but still really sharp. And uh, might be able to use them a little bit. Thanks again, Tom. So uh, at the raffle, um, I, I did win a couple things. I won a set of parallels from MSC slash Inco, and that were donated. And these are really pretty nice. Uh, really nice. Like. Kind of, they're gold. Well, they're gold colored, bronze, kind of colored. Very, very nice. So, uh, thank you for that donation, uh, MSC. And uh, I uh, actually buy quite a bit from those guys, uh, Enco at least, uh, most of the time. But I could buy from MSC here and there too. But uh, these are really nice. Uh, let's see. They're eighth inch thick. They, these are inch and five eighths or six inches long. So that one's a half inch. So half inch to inch and five eighths. So that was pretty, pretty fun. Thank you, MSC. So we got a few more things. Um, this is, uh, Stan from Stan, uh, some Stanridge Premium Granite Cleaner donated by Stanridge. Uh, he uh, passed that along to me. Uh, it's supposed to be really good stuff, and we'll be giving that a try. A little surface plate cleaner. It's by Stanridge. Uh, something passed on to me from Ben. A nice. Uh, Nice gift there. This is a by Sunrise Environmental Scientific bombshell. 
that's a hand cleaner. You know, like a soapless hand cleaner. But it has uh, walnut shells in it for scrubbing. And as far as I've tried, I just, I've tested it out a little bit. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's better than Gojo. Or the pumice, anything with pumice in it. Uh, boy, this stuff, uh, and it washes off better. Uh, the Gojo doesn't wash off uh, as well. This washes off great. And I think it actually uh, scrubs and cleans better. I like it. So uh, that's pretty nice. Thanks, Ben. This is great. I also picked up a little uh, channel swag at the bash. Uh, everybody recognizes that one, huh? We'll turn right with Machine Works. Keith Fenner, get her done. Keith sent out a bunch of stuff from the raffles, uh, t-shirts and hats and sweatshirts. He's, he was uh, very generous, and uh, I was able to grab one of his uh, stickers there. Uh, a little Vintage Machine Works. Uh, Keith Rucker, VintageMachining.org. Grabbed uh, another one of those. And, of course, Mr. Adam Booth. A bomb 79 got one for the truck so it work out well and uh, mr. James Green he kind of redid his so his letters show up a little better and a nice big sticker very nice thank you James bringing those another item I got received in a raffle it's a, um, it's a $75 gift certificate from albino machining and custom flat belts there's their contact information. And I'll be using that for my Logan Lay that needs a new belt. So that'll be, uh, that'll be well worth it here. Uh, so thank you, Albino Machining and Custom Flat Belts, uh, for uh, donating this. And last but not least, um, Bob here. He gave all the contributors a flag. So that's Bob Giovannucci. Via, 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 Giovannucci. Gio, Bob Giovannucci, I think it is. At Bob's Banners. Flags and Signs. I probably butchered your name, Bob. Bob's a very nice man. <laughs> uh... So this is uh, through uh, the North American Association of Machinist Educators and Bob uh, at Bob's Banner Flags and Signs. And he gave everybody a beautiful American flag uh, for uh, to us. Uh, he's in Apple Valley, California. That's by Tehachapi, California, out to the east of L.A., on the other side of the mountains, kind of, and east of Bakersfield, out there. Uh, thank you, Bob, uh, and the North American Association of Machinist Educators. Uh, thank you both uh, for the flags. Uh, these are very, very nice and uh, mean a lot. Mean a lot. I'll, every time I fly it, I'll be thinking of you guys. So thank you again, Bob. So give Bob some business there. Bob's banners, flags, and signs. So that's it. Tail of the bash. Um, it was hotter than living daylights. Uh, that stands. Uh, in, in the shop, it was 107. And out in the sun, I have no idea. But I was out in the sun a lot and uh, and got a li little bit of burn. I don't know what happened to my hat. I set it down. I never found it again. So, but uh, it was just hot. And there was a fire, a uh, wildfire, on the other side of the mountains. A little bit north of us, and there's bombers going overhead all day. So uh, I hope they uh, were getting that a little under control and stuff. But uh, it was sure a fun time, and I said, I hope we do it again. Uh, I, I had some uh, dovetail cutters down there for sale. Uh, I still have a few left. If uh, anybody's interested, send me an email or a message on Facebook, Machine and YouTube, and, uh, or something like that. And uh, we'll uh, figure out something. So, uh, you know, let me know if you're interested. They work really well. Uh, so, anyway, we'll uh, 
we'll be seeing you and give you getting some machining videos going i'm gonna have a little project here i got several projects that are going to go uh, we have uh my son's uh tubing bender thing to build a mount for and get it rigged and stuff so we're going to be working on that and we have i have a little prototype project i'm going to be starting and uh seeing how that goes uh, we'll we'll have video on it and stuff so we got to do prototypes to see how things work sometimes so we'll see how it works <laughs> uh, but uh It'll be kind of a fun little project. It includes a laser. So we'll see how things go. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, just thanks, thanks for sticking with me. I'm over 5,000. Uh, I hit, got over 5,000 just before the bash. And it was uh, very, very cool. I'm just amazed uh, there's that many people out there uh, interested in watching. But uh, things are getting better, I think. The videos are better. So... Uh, we have a, a lot of kind of cool, some cool projects coming up here, um, and we'll be getting uh, on with the uh, few, maybe a couple more things with the F uh, X carve, and which will include that plate for the closing lays, so we can get the VFD going on it. So, lots of stuff going, and uh, we'll uh, we'll be getting back at you. So, thanks again, and thanks for watching.